What's up guys? Today is Matco Day. So we got a shop full of junk that we're having to work on. We got a clutch job going. We got electrical issues going. So hopefully Michael's got some tools we need. You guys come along and let's see what he's got. Got trucks sitting everywhere, don't we? That's right. Ooh, got a new hat. Yeah, that's a cool hat. That's a good looking cap. Nice. Hey. And the boots are bad. They're what? half off. What? They must have got to be half off. off. Right. How much the caps? They're $16. All right. Put that in my pile. I like it. <laughs> Whoo! Man, man, man. You got all kind of stuff back here today. All kind of stuff, man. We love the goodies. Love the goodies, don't we, Bill? Yep, yep. You got any right there? I've got a couple. Oh. I got this style and this style. I like, I got one like this. Yes, I like it a lot. They hold real good. Now, they do sell, I thought, I think I seen it on a flyer. Maybe on this one. Maybe they don't want to come out little square like that and the ends are cut out and it's mm -hmm. magnetic and you stick them down in there. That's the one like I got my big wrenches in in my box. The magnetic ones. Okay, yeah, I know what you're talking about now. But they got the magnetic backing like right here. Yeah. I like that one better. Yeah, so, I mean, it's really tastes great. Because that magnetic one, when you roll it across the floor on bigger wrenches, they'll all be all lopsided and I didn't think about that. Yeah. floppy. And when you put them back in there, if you bump one of the others, Hello. Yeah. Tilt over to the side. What does that run? I think it's around 20 something. Let me see. Hey, I'll tell you what I need. I need, and I bet you ain't gonna have one. Yeah, you will. There in this, I think. I need a, what was that, an 8 millimeter we used yesterday on that new yes. boat? 8 millimeter. Ratchet. Do you want it to be open end on one side or both double? Uh, if you got, you don't have an open end. I can't, yeah, I'll get one out of that set. We was doing a axle sale yesterday on the differential bolt. Somebody had broken off and looked like tried to glue it together that's and then they put it back in there. Oh, that's nice of them. So, like, the part with the head on it come out about probably a quarter inch and the rest of it was up in there. Well, you know the, where the um, the pin that goes through in the spider gears? Yeah. It was that bolt that retains it. So it broke halfway off in it. You don't have no room to get off in there. Well, it's like, oh, you'll never get that out. Uh-uh. You'll never get that out. You better not even start it. You ain't going to get it out. So I got that <coughs> left-handed drill bits out and the ease out set. Yeah. My God, he made me a fool. He pulled it right out. You want uh, you want it to have the switch, the switch on it or flip over? I would do the flip. I'd, I'd rather have the switch, but... Alright, what about... Uh, that's what these have got on in there. Yeah. Yeah. Is that is that the style you want? Non-flex? Yeah. Okay. Let me we'll make sure that's what I got in my hand. They look to be about $20 a piece, but... Alright. Let me get the, the 8 and the 9. Okay. So, you may have forgot about it, and we may going to be doing it later, but... Yeah. Here, here's the... We had a, another distributor at Expo that watch Clay's videos and, and really like them. So he had actually got him a gift and rather than sending it to him, he, he gave it to me to give to him. Um, now, you know who you are. Uh, I, th I believe your name is Chet. Uh, I met so many people that day. I'm sure you did too, new distributors and stuff. So uh, hit Clay up and let him know it was you. Um, but I, Your name is, it went past me. I can see you. Uh, 
it was a husband and wife couple, really great couple. They were a new new start too. So, um, but here's here's his gift to you, Clay. Um, too bad I couldn't keep one for myself, right? <laughs> but I'm just playing. Man, that um, is nice. So yeah, sorry about forgetting your name, man. Uh, hit Clay up, let you know. Let him know. That is really nice. Thank you for that. Yeah, make sure to leave your name in the comments. You know, cause that is that's a really nice gift right there. I didn't realize how many new faces and new people I was gonna meet down there, but it was uh, definitely a fun experience. So that's cool. I brought y'all a prop on beat shit out of so. <laughs> Yeah, we saw that. <laughs> These here are they're made by Mueller. Uh, it's a new um, tool that they had released at our expo. Um, it's gonna take little weights off of cars oh, and stuff. Okay. But they're saying that these, uh, the way that they're cut out and the shortness of them, they won't touch the rim. So on those high profile rims, the black them. and stuff like that, they'll get in there and, and take them out. We also ordered, a, you don't deal with it a whole lot down here, but up north and stuff you probably do, where the salt and corrosion gets in the center cap. Mm -hmm. And you can't, it doesn't seem to wanna fit right. And then on top of that, you got, can't balance it real good because they're cutting the one there. So they've made a, a cone design to go in and clean that out and stuff like that. So uh, it also, not only will it clean from the hub, it also clean all that glue and stuff out. So anybody that starts out as a tire tech knows that's the suckiest part about it. You have to get all that freaking glue off. Especially when it wants the weights right back there, right? So, but yeah, we, we got that. Um, the new locking extensions there, they go on your drill. What? Do those uh, those Nipex? It's for hose clamps. What do those run for? That let set? me look up and see. PHCCT. I think I like that style better than that round style. It looks like you can get off in there and bite them pretty good. Looks like when they get over the lip, they'll be there. Uh, those run about 130. Now, remember I told you we we're getting the longer ones in on these. Yeah. I think that's going to be at my next. I think within the next two weeks I should be able to try to get you a pair of those. Those right there. And they're nice. going to be longer. I, nice. I believe. I mean, I, I do make mistakes, but I think I saw that it's going to be available in the next two weeks. So that's, that's a that scraper set. set. Yeah, that's that scraper set. Yeah, go ahead and pull that off. Off with it, right? Yeah. Put the longest staples possible. You got to tell everybody about <laughs> them because, like I say, Wally bought a set and I used them. So and these are Maco's carbide scraper set. We've had them for uh, quite a while, uh, but from what I, I've never used them myself, probably should have. I always use just little scrapers there, but from what I'm hearing from Wally and some other people that's actually used them, I think you've even used them, Bill. Mm -hmm. They're just a badass set that cleans it really quick. Um, I know I've heard people say like you did this morning when it slips it doesn't slice you yep. so it's uh, I've, I've not had any complaints I, I had well I take it but I had one customer that had he but he, it was you said you'd bought a set and that the uh, end yeah, fell it, off it chipped yeah it chipped that it. but um, that stuff's gonna happen warranty it out and go on right mm -hmm. but yeah really great design on it so I love it now considering his set is going to be the same color as Wally's set. You know how we're going to be able to tell the difference between the two? His Which one's nastier? His will be his on the floor. His will be, be on the floor <laughs> and greasy, and mine will be in the box and wiped off, right? Cleaned up. That's right. <laughs> well, we can change it to spray brake cleaner on there, and it turns to a bright red then. Mm -hmm. Almost kind of a whitish. Who did you see do that? Because apparently you don't clean them. No, <laughs> it was the one that chipped. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm not judging you, Wally. I'm just yeah, saying. No, they I heard were, nothing but probably where somebody there. else kicked his across the floor because he was laying there and it went in the puddle of brake cleaner. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oops. I got uh, a solid 100 and a half over these. All right, guys, let me tell you what happened. This was real fast. Uh, I just mentioned to Michael, I was talking about this half inch stubby, so Wally decided to upgrade his. Well, the reason why I was wanting to buy this one because I used his and I was drunk or stout. So Wally's like, what do you trade for? So Wally traded his in for this gun and I bought this one. This one. So that was like 
a two minute deal that happened real quick that you guys missed so there it is do they come with cover do you have covers for them i don't have colors right now uh, covers right now they're being released well, when they uh come out when i want them all right, guys, let me run over what everybody's getting here. Where's your pile, Wally? That's right. He left it back there. Let me show y'all what I'm getting. I'm getting a new tray and the super awesome gift with a lighter and the scrapers, a new cap, and an 8 millimeter and a 9 millimeter ratchet wrench. <coughs> and Wally is getting socks and a wrench wrap. Wild Bill. Getting socks too. Everybody's converted from the snap on socks. Y'all you notice know that? Two daggum company. I like them. Everybody has converted. Matco, Matco has won off the sock game. It's sad. I look in my closet and all I see is just Matco socks. And just like two or three pair of old Walmart socks that are sad slowly that. getting thrown away. Well, it's a Matco t shirt, what we need. We do. I don't have them. I got that one with the pink on it, zip, but every other t shirt is a snap on it. Something bigger than medium. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be looking like uh we'll be looking like them uh bodybuilders wearing them super tight shirts in Huntsville. Yep. I'm like super comfy, not super tight. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's what we're getting today. So y'all have a great one. Like always, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Click that subscribe button. Tell them, Wally. Totally free. Totally free. It don't cost them a dime. Mm. Hit that button. Catch you guys next time. See ya.